Our family sold almost everything, including our house in the city, to start a farm in the country. Join us as we share with you our adventures while we discuss farming, fitness, and everything in between. And don't forget, we live in a yurt too! We are Farm Fit! Greetings, I am here with Tim and he here works here at Baker Creek and you work a lot with the livestock and you do a lot of other things as well, right? Yes, sir. And right here in his hand is one of the rarest chickens that is out there. This chicken is called Ayam Samani and it's from Indonesia originally. It's called uh, from Java, if I'm saying it correctly, Indonesia. And um, it came into Europe according to what I read and 1998 and a Dutch breeder, um, Sterevik if I'm saying it right, um, Jan Sterevik, um, worked on them in Europe and they're fairly modern here, they're not, I mean they're very very rare, um, everything about the bird is um, uh, black uh, and the pure strain, um, it's a genetic condition, it's a, a hyper uh, pigmentation, they call it um, fibromelanosis that causes all of the bird to be black. The wattles, the comb, the beak, the eyes, the feet, the skin, the organs, the bones, the whole bird is black from this hyperpigmentation. So it's very wow. unique type of uh, features of this bird. Wow. On a lot of them their mouth is as black as everything else. Oh. Wow. The hide is gray or black. Wow, and I've seen online that these birds can go up to a few thousand dollars in cost. This, that's crazy. Well, the hatchery here nearby that tried to get these birds started this year, and they had some snafus in it and it didn't work out, we're going to do $99 a chick straight run. Okay. So, and you can see online that you can get a dozen eggs for sixty dollars and upward to incubate yourself. Okay. Um, in the beginning, we had success this year with these birds, and then later during the season, they just kind of tapered off, and they weren't they they weren't um, viable. Okay. They weren't making it through the whole process. Um, so these that we have here, we're pretty excited about um, that they worked for us, um, and the egg laying ratio isn't isn't very heavy it's like 80 to 100 eggs a year from what I'm wow. reading about so they're limited for that portion of its purpose um, mostly I would say that they would, they're an ornamental type of bird but okay they do you do see photographs online of where they butchered them and the carcass is all black pretty pretty neat wow so yeah as these being ornamental birds as as Tim is saying these wouldn't be good for egg layers if you're looking to get eggs and they wouldn't be good for meat birds because it doesn't look like there's much meat on them this one's still young but I've seen some of the other ones and they're still they're still small too right yeah they have more of an egg layer physique about them but that ratio 80 to 100 eggs is not efficient no um, they just would be kind of an eclectic thing to have and, and they're neat um, but if you were looking for a homestead animal that you wanted production from it definitely wouldn't be this yeah uh, for either purpose okay yeah wow but it is pretty neat you need to see the black comb and the black beak and it's just fantastic beautiful bird it really is a beautiful bird so uh, you get to work with these birds on a regular basis, just making sure they have everything that they need? Yep. Every day when I'm here during the week, I deal with these birds and give them their basic necessities and a little more when necessary. There we go. Generally, the bird, um, this bird has a good temperament. I mean, it's I'm holding it and it's not too upset. And day-to-day -day handling of them or being in, in the coops and stuff, they're, they're pretty, uh, pretty reasonable as far as how they respond to the activity around them. So that's a plus. Yeah, it's not even trying to really get away from you, nor is it trying to peck you. I've had that happen a few times. That's right. <laughs> wow, that's a real calm temperament. Another benefit to it. Wow. Just look at the color there. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. 
it reminds me a lot of the black ocelorps that we have but just just even more black in color all around that's great well Tim thank you for showing us this chicken uh, it is really a neat variety I don't think that we'll have them on our farm but it is neat to admire the beauty and the, the uniqueness of of this chicken here and uh, thanks again hey you're welcome and they are a very beautiful bird well, I'll let you put this one back up it was really neat to be able to see the Ian Samanis in person and did you know that in 2013 the first pair that was brought to the US cost $5,000 Even though this isn't the best breed of chicken for homesteaders, it is important to preserve rare breeds. Do you value the work that we're doing? If so, consider joining our Patreon team. Our patrons receive exclusive content not available on YouTube, as well as private Q&As and more bonus features. Check out the link in the show notes below. Feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So, subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here. And also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.